Today, we're going to talk about inventory and stash in Diablo 4, and yeah, we know it stinks, and how to manage it a little bit, and how you can get some extra stuff, and uh, really what to look forward to with the stash, because they ain't going to leave it like this, but then we're going to show you another trick from uh, veteran players like myself that we used in previous games that's going to extend that for you if you're new to the series, okay? Let's check it out. How about it, y'all? You got Hog. Thanks for stopping by. I'm your Southern Diablo 4 resource. Look, before we get into the stash, I just wanted to take a quick second and thank y'all very, very much for watching my stuff. We hit 4,000 subscribers, uh, I guess, a week ago, something like that. And I uh, just wanted to take a second to tell y'all how grateful I am. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of y'all, especially my subscribers. Never thought we'd have, never thought 4,000 of y'all would watch my dumb ass. But uh, anyway. Anyway, on to the stash. Thank y'all very much. Look, four tabs, we know it's not acceptable. In Diablo 3, we had like 10 tabs. But there's one thing that we got to remember. If you didn't play Diablo 3, I'll tell you. You earned a tab through the progression of each season. Okay, so if you did all of the seasonal journey, that was one of the rewards. It's getting another stash tab. So, um, at the end of all the seasons or X amount of seasons, whatever it took, you would get... 10 tabs so uh yeah that doesn't solve the problem right now hog we need more stash space right now um well i'm going to help you manage that a little bit and um i'm going to show you how to get more space you're not going to be able to actually add to this right this second but i'll help you make some storage okay if you're a new player you want to thought about this or maybe you have but veteran players already know okay so one thing i overlooked about the stash yeah it's simple but it's not completely dumb Okay, you do have the ability to customize these tabs on the edit tab right here. So if you click edit tab, you can rename this and then change the uh, icon to what you want. Okay, I named this one gems and junk. I like having the first tab be all the gems that I'm saving. And then if I'm in a hurry, I can just kind of dump stuff over here. No big deal. Uh, the next tab that I've got, I call it aspects. Notice it's all legendaries. Uh, this is kind of a good reminder or tip. Don't extract all these if you ain't going to use them. Don't make the same mistake that I did. Look here. <laughs> look at them blues, baby. So look, that's that's 500. That's a million. That's 1.5. That's what I wasted for these to sit here taking up space. 1.5 million gold. So... I recommend if you think that you might need some of these aspects that you find, leave them on the item and put them in a tab, okay? Because if you're a theory crafter like I am, you want to hoard these aspects because you don't know what you're going to be playing with next. Uh, that's one of my, it's one of the reasons why I play these games. A lot of guys are like, why aren't you 94 yet? Why aren't you 100? Why are you all this? Why, what are you doing? Well, I, I like to make builds. That's what I like. It's kind of why I started doing the channel. They, they might not be uh, made of, you know, racks creating level everything on a 150, whatever. Um, but regardless, I like to save aspects so I can play with all kind of different thing. Uh, some of the aspects I might have three or four times in here. That's where my challenge comes in with inventory. I wish they had the search bar uh, so I could find one of the aspects that I'm looking for pretty quickly. Um, so, in a nutshell, save your aspects. Don't extract them till you actually need to put them on your item, okay? Next tab I have is called Good Yellows. I'll have uh, some of the yellow. I'll have some of the, um, some of the yellow. And don't get cheap on me. <laughs> but having one tab 100% devoted to your yellows it'll really help your efficiency in a group if you're not a group player it'll help you keep potential good upgrades so i like to compare things and run them uh, see what the stats look like whatever this is where i keep them and then the final tab here is uh ones that i've already used so build items stuff that's upgraded stuff that's got aspects imprinted on it already uh, weapons for other builds, totems, stuff like that. And you see, well, while I'm not a really organized person, 
there is some kind of layout to it. You know, I got uh, weapons up here. I got totems here. I got uh, armor pieces here, gloves here, uh, jewelry here, uniques here. Okay. And four is all we get right now. So what do you do when you've got all of this full and you don't feel like organizing it or it's all full and you, and you don't want to get rid of any of it because um, Intervention's coming over to film an episode of Hoarders Diablo 4. I can't get rid of aspects. Okay. So what you do then is you deploy the old D2 trick and you make a mule. Well, a lot of people did on D3 also. I was guilty of it. Oh, we had 10 tabs in D3. <laughs> and I'm talking about I had every single one of those loaded down to the T and with mule. So I'm going to walk you through because there are new players. We all have to remember that while some, some of the veteran players that watch my stuff, they're like, Hog, why are you talking about this elementary stuff? We got guys that are brand new to the game and they outnumber us. So we got to tell them this. To us, it would be obvious because we played the game 20 years. To them, they don't know that. So i got to add these little extra steps in. So to make a mule, you just make a new. Oh, I'm going through puberty? <laughs> Lord. You just make a new character or tune. I know y'all hate when I say that. So I'm going to start saying it more. <laughs> uh, you just randomly make one and finalize it. Okay? Skip the campaign. Look here. This, this is important. If you don't have this option and you're making a mule, stop what you're doing. Hit the brakes, pop the air brakes, and throw it in neutral. Go do the campaign. If you have not finished the campaign, it's a hog warning to everybody, which is kind of silly, but if you, if you have not finished the campaign at this point in time, finish it right now. Stop what you're doing. Don't worry about items. Don't worry about anything. That means you're still in World Tier 2. Get your hiney in there and finish the campaign. Okay? Anyway. Now that you've skipped the campaign, make your tune character, okay? Doesn't matter your difficulty. Here we go. We have a mule, a storage space, okay? I'm going to sit here and wait for it to load. It's kind of cool being in the center of the screen here. All right, look. You, you in your own world, you're in your own mess, your own zone, your own difficulty, totally separate of other characters, right? However, you can still access the stash because it's universal for everybody. So if all this is full, and let's say you wanted to clear out this right here. You have 33 inventory slots right here that you can fill up. Yeah, you can't equip any of it, but you can put it over here. You also have... 33 right here for consumables, which could be sigils. Okay, so if you've got a, a an abundance of sigils, they can go in here. Quest, you're not really going to worry about. Yeah, you could put it in here if you got some quest stuff. I don't know why you would do that, but it is an option, I guess. And then aspects, you got 22 for aspects. So at one point, I did have two mules going full of aspects and all this and then I, I went to a treatment center for my hoarding addiction and uh, got it down to a manageable level and that's really what I recommend is if you don't have enough stash space at this point in time and you've got three four five six mules um, seek help because <laughs> there's really really good rolls are rare so if you've got all this other stuff if it's got two rolls on there that aren't any good so if you've got let's say for example let's go to this axe okay core skill overpower vulnerable all stats technically and i know a lot of y'all are going to say this is trash and now that i look at it it's trash but it's got two rolls on it that that are no good this really should be like core crit damage, vulnerable damage, and then that all stat I could roll off. But if you've got two that are like this, that don't fit what you're doing, guess what? Get rid of it, okay? Don't save unnecessary stuff for no reason. Just don't do it. But I hope that helps you out, at least with managing a little bit. That's as, as much as we get, period.
we can manage just a little bit by making mules and organizing and try to keep some kind of system um, but you're gonna waste like I don't know I feel like an entire day trying to go through and look through all your inventory unless you implement some kind of system to help you out uh, if you are um, like I said before if you haven't done the campaign do that if you are like level 58 and you're struggling in world tier 3 and you keep messing with sacred items stop doing that you need to get with a group or he get help from somebody or just grind to level 60 and then do the capstone dungeon okay but that's the best advice I can give you is get out of world tier 3 at this point and get into world tier 4 and start investing all your gold and your mats into ancestral items so that's what's going to make you powerful leveling is what makes you powerful if you're a druid and you're stuck at level 60 um, and you're not powerful that's why you got to level some more and you got to get the good ancestrals and you got to start building your build so druid really comes alive at the later stage of the game especially with paragon boards and all that so uh, speaking of group if you need a group to run with the best way to do that since there is no in-game matchmaking in diablo 4 for some reason right now uh, the best way to do that is to join the discord links in the description below for the house of hog we ain't my we wild baby uh, we've got build guides we've got resources we've got links to like other pages we've got other content creators we've got a pretty big community over here and um, a bunch of voice channels some social space just all kind of, you just have to come check it out it's really badass uh, there's a way to get into our clan and feeder clans from over there also um, but yeah great way to get in a group we're always running XP we're always doing nightmare dungeons uh, we're always helping people through capstone carries and stuff like that um, so just check us out big shout out to this video's sponsor mmoexp.com visit mmoexp.com for a good reliable diablo 4 service and use code hog for five percent off links in the description below thank you to them for sponsoring this video and uh do me a favor hit like and subscribe for more diablo 4 content we'll see you next time